Hi, my name's Tim Pidgeon. Uh, I'm here with Safran Morpho at the London Biometrics Show on behalf of uh, Fine Biometrics, and I'm going to talk you through what we're showing on the booth today. What we're showing here is, is the range of uh, capabilities we have in the military space. Uh, building on what Morpho has done within the criminal investigation, what we're showing here is our handheld device called the Morpho Hide, which is, has a mobile iris, fingerprint, facial recognition, and has an onboard database capability of 1.5 million people. In addition, it has capabilities of working with 3G telephone networks and is also able to work over Wi-Fi and also on military networks. On this area of the booth, what we're showing is some capability for commercial banking applications. Uh, and very specifically, what we're showing uh, are point of sale type technologies. So for instance here, this is a, uh, a device which could be used in a point of sale. So a, a banking card with a fingerprint and a match on card technology could be used where the card is actually placed into the device. And rather than using pins, we would actually use a fingerprint for the authentication of the user. In addition, what we're showing over here is a simulation of an, auto, uh, an ATM banking machine whereby a, a same principle of a card with a fingerprint on board will be used and actually could, so replacing the use of a pin with the fingerprint on the card itself. What we're showing here is building upon the, the global success that Safran Morpho has had in the criminal investigation uh, systems for biometrics, uh, building on the back of the existing uh, criminal fingerprint systems that we have deployed globally. So for instance here, this is a, a fingerprint uh, which could be taken from a scene of crime where a fingerprint has been left. And so what using uh, iPhone technology, we would photograph the actual fingerprint, send it over a secure communications network back to the main system, where the system could come back and bring back the result to the device saying that this fingerprint has been, is associated with this individual, giving maximum efficiency to the scene of crime processing and speeding up the arrest process. One of the other areas which um, Safran Morpho is, is talking about at this conference is our experiences that we've gained uh, and capability that we can now deliver on large-scale biometric systems such as the UID program running in India. Uh, Safran Morpho has been involved at the very early stages both on the enrolment side of equipment and also the large-scale back-end matching system which has never been done globally anywhere before and the results from this as openly spoken about at this conference by the UID members uh, has been a huge success for social inclusion by trying to give um, uh, benefits to the, the many uh, people in India. The other area which Safran Morpho is talking about today is the wide range of border control capabilities that we have ranging from visa enrollment systems, automated border control gates, and also mobile detection systems, such as this device here which we're uh, promoting, which is a Bluetooth fingerprint device. The fingerprint is placed here, so that the device itself can actually communicate with mobile phones, uh, laptops, and other computer equipment, but it gives you maximum flexibility in a mobile way to send fingerprint data wirelessly back to a remote system and actually get a result back to the hands of the officer who actually has the person in front of them at that moment. It gives maximum flexibility and choice.